it's a precarious condition to step out into the world with one strike against you and that your goal is to be invisible. I feel like as Asians in America, what does bind us together is the fact that our fears and traumas in relationship to America is very similar. I was growing up, I felt so other, like capital O other. It's like they're always just like, what are you? Like, what exactly are you? And that does make you feel isolated. And their next question is, well, how do you speak English so well? My experience was hiding my Asianness. Growing up here, you don't want to be Asian because you feel ashamed or you don't feel you belong. It was a little rough <laughs> growing up as uh, the only Asian kid. Um, yeah, I definitely got teased a lot for like my eyes and being Asian was not cool. I am 50% Filipino, but sometimes I feel like I'm, you know, a sliver. I wanted to be normal or, or be not that Asian, right? And then I did everything in my power to be that way. And in doing so, I pushed away so much of my true self. You're really cool as an Asian person or like, oh, you're really hot as an Asian person or... Specifically men trying to find a way to say that they have Asian girlfriends or had Asian exes or Asian wives. Everywhere I would go, I would like walk like 10 feet in front of my mom or like if she were to pick me up at school, I would like duck in the car, like just trying to make sure that I wasn't seen with any Asian people. You have kids who don't know what or don't know who we are and you gotta tell them that, oh, we're Hawaiian for it to let it slide. My folks especially, they wanted to be American. So we get pushed to be American, American, American. Look at these white people, be just like these white people. Do this so that you're just like them and you can hopefully, by us moving to this country, succeed just like hopefully a white person. But I think since we're still kind of apologizing to them while we're doing our thing, it doesn't feel like we're, we're even being authentic yet. I have felt invisible and I'm just a part of their journey rather than being a part of my own. I feel like for so many years we've been trying to get folks to see us, but it's been in a very surface level way. So many of us felt adrift, so many of us felt isolated, so many of us felt like there wasn't precedent for who we were. For a long time I was like, am I just Asian? Am I just Filipino? Like, when do I become American? If you truly ask me, um, I was never taught the API history. My dad, when he came to this country, they said, don't speak to them in Tagalog, they'll never be accepted. I feel like I was robbed of my language. I, and at one point, I just like tried to like drop ethnicity all at once because I just felt hurt on all sides. We've dealt with respectability politics where we think this is who we are supposed to be, the model minority um, idea, and it, it just doesn't work. You lose yourself trying to fit an image. But we don't really have value unless we're beaten and bloodied and some sort of a hashtag and even that it's fleeting you know it disappears go go in go to new mafi go hawk may shoreview california i think we can embrace being different more, <laughs> you know what I'm saying?
Like all we knew growing up was being Tongan. I mean, obviously, if society's already gonna like outcast you and isolate you, then why not just flip the script on them, take full pride in it, and just be boastful about it? Just being yourself and like doing your own thing is like it's American enough, it's Korean enough because you are Korean and like. There's nothing wrong with anyone of any race, religion, culture, whatever gender. To be Asian American is its own thing, and it's not any one thing. There's no, <laughs> there, there, there's so many different like bevels to this super beautiful shiny gem. I feel like once we are able to truly convey the extremities of our experiences in America without trying to make it comfortable or appeasing to whiteness, that's when other folks outside of our culture will truly see us for who we are. You know, from my experience of being black and Asian, I've noticed the best way is to be who we really are. Like, to be Asian American is actually a defiant act of identity and self-determination. That's true. I feel like, yeah, growing up in a really predominantly white space, yeah, I was not, I didn't really accept that part of myself being Korean. I wanted to be more American, whatever that even was. Stopped eating the Korean foods and stuff that I had. And I wanted to be more white. But then now I'm like, no. What the heck? Korean, this is what I look like. Accept it, I'm cute. <laughs> <laughs>